It's a foggy and cool morning in College Station, Texas, but meteorology students at Texas A&M University know this tranquil weather won't last for long. NOAA and the Storm Prediction Center are forecasting an elevated risk of severe weather today, which could mean thunderstorms capable of producing damaging winds, hail, and even tornadoes. Pretty much the way we're looking at things is anything that pops up is going to spin. Anything has a good chance of dropping a tornado. This team of graduate and undergraduate meteorology students are taking their studies to the next level, out of the classroom and into the field, and they are prepared. There will be uh, a number of vehicles outfitted with computers, and we do networking between uh, the uh, different vehicles. So we hit the road, headed south, where the students turned storm chasers believe the action may be later today. Well, despite what you see in the movie, storm chasing isn't always exciting and exhilarating. It's a lot of waiting, it's a lot of driving, and it's a lot of monitoring the latest weather to see what Mother Nature has cooking for us. We need a little bit of this cloud cover to burn off and get the surface to heat up. Or when that low pressure system gets closer, that'll do it too. So we're just basically waiting for something to kick everything off. The heating of the day is slow, but the atmosphere is allowing a few thunderstorms to begin to pop up, a sign that may be of things to come. Will likely develop as a cyclone. Tornado potential will exist with this activity into the evening. As we head eastward on I-10, we begin to see the clouds lower and rotate. This is the battleground between warm, moist air coming from the southeast and cold, drier air from the northwest. The clash of the air masses condenses into a white cloud, and the crisscrossing winds allow it to rotate. I think it's crossed over the road, and it's, uh, it's now south of us. This eerie but amazing sight brings traffic on I-10 to a halt. The team pulls over to take a look at the radar while trying to account what was just seen. That's an indication that here's the cold sector, here's the warm sector. Data indicates the chase isn't over yet, so we head northward. Well, we continue our chase here in southeast Texas, just north of Sealy now, about 15 minutes uh, from sunset, so we're running out of time. There are about three tornado warnings, but they're all well to the north of us, but there's one thunderstorm that's starting to have the characteristics of maybe a, a tornado producer, and we should be catching up to it here in the next 20 minutes, and uh, we'll see what we get. But a combination of the sun setting and this highway speed limit doesn't allow us to catch up with the storm. Well, sometimes when you chase storms, you get tornadoes and hail. Other times, you just get rain. But I'm sure the folks here in Belleville, Texas, are okay with that. In all, there were five tornadoes reported, all of which occurred after sunset, the most dangerous time to be on the road and track storms. Lessons learned from this chase will be used in the classroom for these Aggies, and it's an adventure the students nor I will ever forget. Albert Ramon, Action 10 News.